this is South Africa. You got a glider trying to pick up trash, right? <laughs> because he's white, that is now, and, and the anti-white sentiment across the globe is so bad, picking up trash is now seen as white supremacy, and it's seen as an affront. <laughs> That's fucking insane. I've seen this with my own eyes. I lived in a neighborhood where it was a group of blacks that hung at the top. The the, the street kind of like was on a, a hill, right? So slope, but the group of blacks that hung on the top in front of a, a vacant like lot or abandoned house and that's where they would hang and they're a little you know you know a, a group of blacks is gonna a lot of trash you know what i'm saying gonna be you know people buying you know fucking mcdonald's and cigarette guts and i mean cigarello guts and yeah blacks, blunt wraps just Grape all soda. that stuff through the course of the day right so there was a white guy a gentrifier colonizer who moved on the block he was the only white guy on the block and he lived maybe two or three houses down from where they hang at but it's down a hill right so when the wind blows that trash would always come in front of his house so he would make it a point to come out there and like in the middle of the day with his picker and a bag and pick up all the trash and it was like motherfucker had attitude about that shit. And it's like, yo, you're fucked, man. You know what I'm saying? Like this was well, this was years ago, but you're fucked, man. You you glad as a fuck, man. It, it was pointed out to me that the trash and the graffiti actually make the criminals feel more comfortable. And when you of clean course. it up, it makes them feel very uncomfortable. Yeah, because here's the thing. As criminal sons and you stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah, cr criminal sons and um, degenerate sons. That's kind of like um, a dog pissing on a hydrant. It's kind of like you know what I'm saying marking territory. It's like okay, these people around here don't care about their stuff. So we can come around here, sell drugs. We can come around here, hang out. We can have shootouts because the people around here are not going to, like, call the police on us. This is the thing. I tell you sons ain't afraid of police. But it's when I say that, I'm talking about they're not afraid of dying or getting killed by police. They're afraid of getting arrested, though. They don't like getting arrested, but they know they're not going to fucking die or anything. Um Hence, our friend, Neely, who had been arrested 42 times. So he'd gone through a life, a death situation 42 times, only to be killed by a, 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 a civilian. So um, sons aren't afraid of um, of um, police as far as dying or getting their ass kicked. They're <laughs> getting arrested and fucking being put in a cage. Um, so... When you when you when 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 places are dirty and dilapidated and graffiti ridden and there's litter all over the place and you know there's violence, sons say, okay, the people around here allow that stuff. You're not gonna have some old Karen coming out tell asking you guys asking you who you are, what are you doing around here? You're not gonna have some fucking old white guy, you know, striking up conversation with you just to try to, you know, feel you out. Like when you were fucking coming through the neighborhood, it's just going to be unfettered ability to fucking be a fucking de degenerate delinquent son. That's why we like places like this. Man, I wouldn't even fool with them niggas, bro. They just throwing the trash back out. That shit crazy. Yeah, man. It's, it's, um, Son, people, listen. We are, we've 